Okay, very important question for you today. Are you the most important person and factor and influence in your life? Not from a place of like narcissism or in an ego-centered way or any of that, none of that energy, but are you truly placing your views, your opinion, your truth above all others? This is really the invitation for us today and as we explore this channeled message and something that I have witnessed in my own life of when we receive something and learn something that just like feels so incredible. It's like we really want to put that person on a pedestal or that teaching on a pedestal, but really it's when it comes into your field, it becomes an entirely new alchemical process and that is what is being eliminated today in our channeled message so i just invite you to take a big deep breath in wherever you are taking these few moments for yourself and with that let us dive in what a beautiful time you find yourself in now integrating priming nurturing and remembering placing others off a pedestal and now placing yourself on the pedestal this is what we wish to bring forth today when creating your vision and version of reality that is true and unique and curated by you it is essential that you are the main character the main energy the main event Many of you have spent much time immersing yourselves in learning wisdom and transmissions from others, learning systems, solutions, and ways of expanding your knowledge base. In this, what may often happen is that you view others as higher than or greater than in the wisdom and internal knowing, greater than than the wisdom and internal knowing within you. This is natural and normal when teachings will enhance one's life. For you now see how resonant and powerful it is. Whether the person, whether it is that person, that system, or that way. And yet, it is how you receive these teachings, this wisdom, and these awarenesses, and then implement it into your life that creates alchemy. For in everything you learn, you are creating an entirely new way of thinking, integrating, and receiving. For another shares something with you, and now you take it into your energetic system, filter it through with your awareness, and you present your present state of being, your lens of reality, thus creating a new frequency and flavor to that wisdom. So while a person may share wisdom with you, how you receive it, view it, assimilate it, and see it creates a new alchemical process. This is why it is so important for you to share your own beliefs, perceptions, and wisdom, for it will be coming from your unique lens, your unique perspective, perspective your unique perceptions, and your unique interpretations. And this and in this, something entirely new is created. There is no such thing as new wisdom. For in the etheric cloud lies all ideas, thoughts, frequencies, and vibrations. They all exist. And one person may just so happen to be the vessel to access that wisdom and bring it forth into the physical. Or, put another way, one or many may be selected as the vessel to receive and bring forth this wisdom into the physical reality. So while we wish for you to honor the wisdom, honor the vessel, and honor those who bring forth the wisdom that supports and enhances you, the invitation here is to not deem them better than you, greater than you, higher than you simply for what has been brought forth through them. This is about you creating you. 
you seeing you, you witnessing you, you now placing yourself upon the pedestal you have seen and witnessed others from. For while others have aided, guided, and supported you in your journey, you too have done this for others. You too have been the catalyst guide activator for people in your life, whether you see it or know it consciously. And so, to now view yourself as the main character, the starring role, and the main energy, this is what activates, awakens, and illuminates your path. For in doing this, you are claiming who you are, not from an egoic place or self-centered place. This is not what this is about. For rather, it is actually one of the most selfless acts you can do. For when you honor your life, your truth, your presence, your perspective, you now honor God, source, divine. This is what you are doing when you are fully claiming you. And when you now see yourself as the most important energy in your life, ironically, you now help others even greater. For you are now self-sourced. And when you are self-sourced, you no longer require the energy, fortification, resources, or power from another. For you see, it comes from within you. It comes from spirit, God, divine source within you. And when this alchemical process takes place, you now open up to a place field and force field for you to enhance, create, and experience truly miraculous things far beyond what the mind could ever imagine. For now, you have taken your power back. You are self-sourced, self-illuminated, and this is a powerful, potent, and incredible thing. And in today's time, one of the most powerful stands one can do and make is to stand for themselves and their life. This enhances one's health, resources, vocation, and mission, your power, peace and presence cultivate create witness and see your divine self for all you are for all you are becoming and now you enter and amplify a realm of infinite co-creation, infinite miracles, infinite peace, presence, abundance, and love. And so it shall be. And so it is.